Hello, my name is Gene Menzies with Moda Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to apply FogTech Advanced Antifog. First of all, you may be wondering why you would need a video on how to apply an antifog. After all, aren't they the same? Well, not really. FogTech Antifog goes on quite a bit differently than other antifogs you may have found out there. First of all, it goes on faster and without all that rubbing. Also, FogTech doesn't contain any alcohol or any harmful solvents or flammable products either. So you can feel very, very confident in using it on all types of optics. Today we're going to be trying fog tech on a face shield mounted to a helmet, a pair of industrial safety glasses, and even a pretty expensive pair of prescription lenses. Now fog tech comes in two forms. First of all is the individual packets with a wet towelette inside. Secondly, it comes in a little bottle with an applicator included with the package but you can also use a soft cotton cloth to apply the product. So first of all, let's demonstrate the product on the industrial safety shield. And I'll use the packet first of all. Tear open the packet, and inside you'll find a wet towelette. Now don't unfold the towelette, that's very important. Keep it as wet as possible. And I'm going to apply it to the left hand side of the space shield, so you can see that fog tech goes on evenly and smoothly and very quickly. I have a steamer here that I use to simulate fogging and we'll go ahead and apply it on the left hand side where the fog tech is and on the right hand side. That's my right actually. So I think you can see that fog tech absolutely prevents fogging very very quickly. Now as long as this towelette is still wet we can apply it to multiple sets of optics and usually you get about three or four different sets of optics with this. So again, I'm going to apply it to the left-hand side of this pair of industrial safety goggles. It looks like it's dry already. Usually it takes about five or six seconds to dry. And again, I don't know if you can see this, but the left-hand side, my left again, is perfectly clear, while the right-hand side is very obscured by fogging. Now we can also apply it to this pair of safety, or a pair of uh, standard prescription lenses. This time I'm going to go ahead and use the bottle and the applicator. Now don't apply fog tech directly on the optics and rub it on, but go ahead and apply it to the applicator first. And I'm recommending, I recommend using a spot about the size of a nickel. Once you have it on there, go ahead and apply to the optics. I'm applying it to both sides of these safety glasses because if you wear them underneath your shield, for example, both sides of these glasses can become fog. And again, you'll see lots of fogging on the left-hand side, but none on the right-hand side where I applied the fog tech. So again, let's go over the advantages of fog tech advanced anti fog. First of all, it goes on very, very quickly, and that means you can get back to the job very quickly, too. If this is a military type of application, that means you can actually be on the field and on your uh, tour in a matter of seconds. Next of all, it goes on without all that rubbing. Uh, typically with most other antifogs, you have to apply some on there and then use elbow grease to rub it around on the optics until it comes clear. And that means the dust or dirt that's on your applicator can actually start grinding its way into the lenses and reduce the life of those lenses. And if you're talking about a four or $500 set of prescription glasses, that can become very, very expensive. Lastly, there's no flammable products. It's perfectly safe on all plastics or glass. And um, there's nothing that hurts the environment. One thing we don't recommend is that you put fog tech on large glass surfaces like mirrors or something like that. It just dries too quickly to get a smooth, even coat. If you need more information on how to apply fog tech or any technical information about it, go to our website, www.fogtech.com. Thank you for watching.